to you and they'll be like, as they're checking your collar, make sure your buttons are right. They're making sure you have on a belt, socks and shoes is right. They will, um... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me again. Ah! If you are new, welcome to my channel or welcome to the family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join. You know, just 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 stay tuned because I'm coming with more and more and more. Before this, I made like I got like three other navy videos up on my page. So just giving y'all information because I was in y'all's shoes. So before I joined, I wanted to know all the information I could get. I was just on YouTube, just, you know, like, uh, uh, how can I prepare myself? Uh, what am I going to do? I'm scared. I'm, uh. But okay, so if you don't know, I just got back from deployment. So if you've been here, y'all know I've been ghosting, right? I've been ghost for almost like a year. We're going to get into this q and A. I'm going to answer like, I'm going to answer about probably like 10 10 ish questions that I frequently get asked. And I just feel like it'll help anybody. These are good questions. So I just want to put this out so that you know anybody else might that might have the same questions y'all can have this information as well so let's get into this video before we get into this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe make sure y'all show love go ahead and join the family and yeah i'm trying to build my youtube back up because i took a break so let's get it oh, shit. okay 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 so let's do it so Okay, so first question. So a lot of people ask me about swimming. Um, so I guess maybe I feel like y'all won't be able to make it through boot camp if y'all can't swim. So someone asks, would you recommend learning like the basics of swimming before even going in or before you leave for boot camp? So honestly, would I recommend that? Yes, the answer is yes, I would recommend it. Just kind of, even if you just don't fully learn how to swim before you join, I feel like you should definitely get into some water and just like, you know, play with the water, get used to the water, just kind of, you know, just so it don't be like a whole new experience when you go to boot camp. Because they're going to push you, like I said, they're going to push you off that 10, 10 feet tower. I think, I believe it's 10 feet. They're going to push you off the tower. You're going to go into the water and, you know, you just want to know how to do something. But like I said, if you can't swim, like I said in the videos before, if you can't swim, they're going to teach you throughout boot camp, throughout the course. So don't panic. Don't worry too much about that part. But I would say just get into the water so you can have a feel and be kind of like prepared. It won't just be so off guard. You know what I'm saying? So it was, yeah, when I was in boot camp, it was people standing up there and they would not let the people push them in. Like they were panicking before they even got up there. Don't don't be that person. At least, you know, just get in there and get out. You know, just, just get it over with. Next question. If you feel, if you fail the running test or any of the physical tests, are you allowed to retake them? If so, how many times are you allowed to? Uh, yes, so you are allowed to retake them. So when you first get to boot camp, y'all, y'all going to have an initial test, which is like the test that y'all do when y'all arrive to boot camp. Y'all going to have that, uh, it's called PFA, Physical Fitness Assessment. So it's basically kind of just to see where you at. So if you fail that one, do not feel like you're going to get kicked out. Don't be crying. Don't be scared because you're going you're gonna to have another chance, all right? It's just basically just really just to see where you guys are at. You're going to have another chance, so... Now, if you fail one after that, if you fail the one after that, I believe you're going to get, it's called ASMO. They're going to kick you back a division. So you'll go, you, they'll keep push you into a division that got here after the division that you're initially in. So that means you might have to graduate a little after everybody else graduate. Um, so your boot camp experience will probably be a little longer, if you get what I'm saying. So yes, next question. Did you go in active or reserve and which is better in your opinion? <clears throat> That's a good question, actually. So I am in active. I joined active duty. I joined active duty and honestly, go active. Go active, y'all. Definitely go active because active, you get all the benefits. You get the full experience of being in the Navy, experience deployments. You get to experience ship life. You get to experience just the real, you get the real experience. You know, get free health care. Dental, dental care, just all that good stuff. Like you get everything. So honestly, I say go active because that's the best route, honestly. Um, reserve, you only like, you only doing something. I, I don't know, I've never been reserved, so I really don't know the life of it. But from what I've heard, reserve, y'all only like 
y'all only like meet up like what once a month or something yeah only work out once a month like at least when you active duty you know you you learn a lot of self-discipline you just get more life benefits in total like it's just you get paid better more benefits you know you, you don't get i don't think when you reserve i don't do you get military discount i'm not even sure you get like the full military discount like i, I say go active active is the better route so do that uh, next question. What does the academic test and boot camp consist of? Okay, so when you get to boot camp, they're going to give you, um, so the academic test, yes, you are going to take about two or three academic tests throughout your boot camp experience. So uh, the test consists of ranks. So they're going to give you a book. When you join boot camp, they're going to give you a book. And that's, that book is like your life. You're going to study, 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 read it, read it, read it. Because it has all the information in there that you're going to be tested over. So it's going to be stuff like what do officers wear? Uh, what rank do they wear? Uh, what do they wear on their uniform? Um, what what does a second class symbol look like? Uh, just stuff like that. Like you learn like the military chain of command all the way up to like the president level. So stuff like that. Honestly, um, learn your 11 general orders. Like I said, you can find that on Google. You just type in 11 general orders. All of them will pop up. Study those. Learn your sailor's creed. Um, yeah, I covered a lot of this information in my uh, initial Navy video that's on my page. So y'all go check that out because it's actually very informative. That uh, video did numbers. So people really... I still get I still get DMs. I posted that a year ago, and I still get DMs to this day about how informative that video was and how great it was. So yeah, go check that video if you want to know more, like for that kind of stuff. So, period. Um, next question: Do they really get at you? I am sensitive, but I am working on it. What should I do or say? Do I just stand there and let them? Um, pretty much, yeah. You kind of just want to stand there and let them. You can't really talk back. So let me tell y'all. Y'all think that child parents y'all siblings aunties uncles you know whatever your situation is y'all think they be having y'all effed up these people gonna have y'all effed up like <laughs> so bad they gonna have y'all messed up like and it's not like it's just you just gotta sit there and take it like if you get bucked back oh it's it's over with like they gonna drop you they gonna beat you and not physically literally mean beat but they pull out this card and they make you get down they make you do whatever's on that card so you gotta do like planks push-ups burpees jumping jacks and they'll they'll they would make y'all go forever like y'all would never be it feel like you're never gonna stop so they're gonna make you go like oh yes y'all i remember them days uh, do you suggest bringing your cell phone with you or keeping it at home i say leave your cell phone at home because pretty much everything you come to boot camp with is going to get sent back so it's really no point i mean you're not going to be able to have your cell phone at all throughout boot camp so i would say leave it at home i left mine at home everything i came with honestly sent it right back home i went to boot camp back in 2018 y'all it is now 2022 so i don't know what's changed really with that kind of stuff so yeah do you sleep good on the ship and about how sharing those birthings with like 100 plus females honestly it's kind of hard when people just come in there being loud okay it's like i'll be you got your little curtains you kind of like what is that noise they be flickering on the lights like bro turn the lights off like turn the light off i'm trying to sleep like they be you might have some inconsiderate people when you're on the ship. Just right when you're trying to sleep, there be people right outside of your rack talking like, like I used to. I used to bust my curtains open like. Can y'all be quiet? Like, can y'all hush? I'm trying to sleep. Like, be considerate. Like, I keep feeling the ass bad. Please, how can you encourage me to not give up because it's discouraging? I am not good at math. Please, what's the best job to get? Um. So my advice on the ASVAB, oh, I feel like my camera, I, could y'all see me good? I hope y'all can, but <laughs> so uh, my best advice for the ASVAB, y'all, I, um, so what I did was if you, so if you, if you're going into boot camp, like fresh out of high school, fresh out of college, your mind is still kind of in that, you know, studying mentality. You're still kind of in that, uh, doing work. I mean, you're, your, your brain is fresh off the books, if you get what I'm saying. So I feel like you don't have to worry too much. Just kind of like go over things, scheme through things, and just, you know, practice just a little bit. But if you took a break from school and, you know, you try to join the military years later, you kind of want to, I would say my best advice is go to the bookstore, go to Barnes & Noble, go anywhere, or you can, go, you can get it from like Walmart, I believe. You can get it from anywhere, Amazon. But just go and order the um, ASVAB for Dummies book. Uh, that's what it's called, ASVAB for Dummies. I still got me a book just to, because I wanted to score as best as I could. And y'all want to know what's crazy? I 
still didn't score as best as I could have. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, I didn't have the as I didn't have the best ASVAB score. And look at me now. I'm four years in and I'm already a second class. So honestly, your ASVAB score does not matter. I would say your total, your final ASVAB score don't matter pertaining into getting a job. They go by line scores. So they go by how you do with each subject of the ASVAB. So that's how they score and that's how you get your uh, jobs and rates to pick from. I scored well enough to be able to strike PS, which I love my job. I love it so much. I, I still recommend you guys to study a little bit, get your brain into that studying atmosphere, that testing atmosphere, so that when you take it, you know, it won't be so, you won't be just so, uh, 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 you won't be so, like, I'm gonna give y'all three good rates. So I would say, hmm, good rates. I would say PS, okay? I'm gonna I'm, I'm stand beside my PS community. But no, I love my job, y'all. So what I do is, I'm a PS, that stands for Personnel Specialist. And what I do is, I deal with people, I deal with people pay. Let me turn this music down a little bit. Okay, sorry, y'all. But like I said, I would, uh, I would recommend a PS. Uh, it stands for Personnel Specialist. And what we do, we kind of deal with people's pay. So if anyone having pay problems, um, you know, we we fix their pay, start their entitlements, stop their entitlements, uh, check people into the command, check them out, transfer, separate, separate them. Like we deal with that kind of stuff, you know. So it's kind of like the administration of the Navy. Um, but I say go go for that because you know you're in the office, you're in the AC. You know, it's just I just feel like it's just so me. <laughs> But yeah, you're on a computer, so that's that's the type of job that I actually envisioned on having when I joined the Navy, so I was blessed to get this job. Um, but so yeah, I say PS. Um, another good rate that I would say, I would say HM. It might be hard sometimes, it might be a hard rate, but it's very beneficial, especially for crossing over into the civilian world. Like say if you were to get out of the Navy, you know, it's a HM doctor, like doctor, Medical, that's like a big field. So I feel like you can never go wrong with that. You can be a nurse easily, a doctor easily. You have that Navy experience on your resume. So I just feel like that's 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 a good route to go, you know? Um, LN, LN, so that's Legalman. And I think that's a new rate that just came out. It's, it's pretty new. It's kind of more so on the um, like office type rate too. But you know, you deal with all legal stuff. So people that get into any legal, legal situations or stuff like that um uh, need things notarized and okay so those are my three rates that i said go for do you get to live on your own after boot camp of course you get to live on your own y'all i'm living on my own this is my own i got my own apartment i would show y'all but i'm not done decorating it but yes you can live on your own like get all your military uniforms all the uniforms that you wear throughout your whole career so you're going to get like your dress you're going to get these your end ups. you're going to get your dress whites your dress blues you're going to get um your nsu's uh, which they call them peanut butters. They like the brown top with the black pants. And you're gonna have inspection. For example, they'll go up to you. I got on my end. Say, say we having an end up inspection. So they'll go up to you and they'll be like, as they're checking your collar, make sure your buttons are right. They're making sure you have on a belt, socks and shoes is right. They will um, ask you a question like, what is state state of uh, the second general order, or what does a E6? How many chevrons does the E6 have? So just stuff like that. I also get asked, how is it being a woman in the military? Honestly, um, I haven't really experienced any type of discrimination towards me uh, for being like a female or anything like that. But you know, I do hear stuff, uh, be strong, be powerful. Like just be a powerful woman. Don't let nobody run over you. Don't let nobody feel like they can just run over you. Like they can just talk to you any other kind of way. Like, let me turn that off because they ain't finna copyright me. On my video, so I didn't turn that right off. Women in the military, y'all just be strong, stand up for yourself, be use your voice. You walk into work, walk in with your head held high. Like, I, that, I'm that girl. Is it possible to keep a relationship in the Navy? <laughs> Honestly, y'all, from personal experience and from what I see, a military relationship is not what you want. I've never seen such crazy, wild, disrespectful, toxic relationships till I joined the Navy. I'm telling you, like, best advice is just don't do it, y'all. Just don't do it. Like, there are very few 
relationships that make it work and that last and that, that actually treat each other right and do each other right and all that. But for the most part, y'all, military relationships is not it. Everybody in the military, it's just not it, y'all. Um, that being said, I think I'm gonna give a story time on that. To add to the list of the good rates you should uh, that I recommend when joining the Navy, I say also IT. ITs are fixed computers. Like, that's what they do. They're good with the civilian when they cross over to civilian job and they decide to get out man that's a really good rate to have that experience because i've heard a lot of successful it stories uh especially when they got out the navy i don't really know too much about it because i'm not an it i'm a ps but from what i've heard and what they do and you know it, it'll push you straight in the dough but okay y'all so that's the kind of it for this video i'm gonna wrap it up i don't want to make it too long but i did want to get into the questions that a lot of y'all have um uh, because i know somebody out there is wanting the same thing like i said i was in y'all's shoes but like i said i'm here for y'all i remember them days before i joined i was all i was doing was on youtube y'all just on youtube looking for videos to help me get through get through the trenches if y'all haven't checked out my last uh navy video make sure y'all go check that out i will probably attach it at the end of this video um make sure y'all add me on instagram all about brianna tiktok all about brianna um like comment and subscribe show some love uh if you have any questions in the comments i'll make sure i get back with y'all on those so leave any questions that y'all have um yeah also make sure y'all go check out my blogs i have i've posted like three blogs since i've been back from deployment so make sure y'all go check those out and yeah so uh, okay, thanks for watching. Uh, y'all have a great day, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!